congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, yeah. Just first off, what was that moment like for you to hear your name be called? Yeah, I mean, drafted? it's uh, you know kind of hard to explain. Um, you know, hugging my uh, my close family there was um, you know one of the most special moments of my entire life, and um, you know I couldn't be more happy to be here with those guys. You know, they've done so much for me, um, sacrificed so much for me to get here. So um, to share this experience with them is uh, you know, means a world to me. Minnesota to, to uh, Massachusetts to Texas. How uh, how exciting a uh, journey is that for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I couldn't be more excited to, to get to Dallas, and um, you know, just so humbled to be a part of uh, such a great organization. And, um, you know, whenever a team trades up to get you, uh, it means a lot. Um, you know, it means that they really want to take you. So, um, you know, I couldn't be more excited and, and honored. Did you know beforehand that they really wanted to take you? Um, I talked to them uh, a couple times, but, uh, you know, you never really know who's going to pick you until you hear your name called. So just uh, trying to stay open-minded and, uh, you know, I just, uh, like I said earlier, just going to be more excited. Is it kind of neat that they traded up? To, to pick you? Yeah, for sure. Like I said earlier, it's, uh, you know, whenever a team trades up to get you, it just shows how much they want you. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited to, to be a part of an organization that uh, really wants me to be there. And, uh, you know, I can't get can't uh, be more excited to get back to work and, and start working towards, uh, you know, being an up on goal for the Dallas Stars one day. That seems to be their plan, obviously, if they did what they did to today. Yeah. What's your plan? I mean, do you, do you see, like, maybe one more year at school or maybe two more? Or? Yeah, you know, nothing's set in stone, but, uh, you know, I, I can't say enough great things about Boston. University and uh, you know the development that I've gotten there, and uh, you know so I'm certainly not in any rush to, to leave there, and um, you know it's all going to come down to you know how well I play and um, how hard hard I work, and uh, you know but definitely uh, could be more excited to eventually be joining the Dallas Stars down the road. I assume, you, I assume you've watched NHL goalies closely. For sure. What is it that, that uh, you need to do better to become one of them? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's, uh, you know, I probably could give you a laundry list of things I want to get better at uh, before I move on to the next level. But, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing about to go is the NHL is just how tough they are mentally. And I think that comes with a lot of experience and a lot of you know, game time. And, um, you know, it's something I'm certainly going to, you know, learn a lot from the next couple of years at BU. And, uh, you know, it all comes from experience. So I think just going back and, and getting more games and, um, you know, getting more confident is uh, definitely something that's going to help me. How much are you looking forward to Dayton Rasmussen maybe getting his day in the sun tomorrow? I know you guys have come up together. Talk sure. about your relationship with uh, with him. Yeah, for sure. I you know I can't say enough great things about Dayton, and uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited for him. Uh, you know, I know what uh, whatever team takes him.